Is my mic recording me? Yes? Hi! <laughs> I am here with my June wrap-up, even though it's almost August. But that's okay. I have been busy having a life, so congratulate me on that. <laughs> but I have a spare little bit of time, and we're going to talk about the two books that I read in June. I only read two, but they were good. I'm just going to talk about this one first, Summer Days and Summer Nights. It's a short story anthology uh, put together by Stephanie Perkins, and it has stories by 12 authors, uh, and it's all about summer love, and they're not all realistic fiction. Some of them are fantasy and such, which was great. I gave this as a whole four stars. As a whole, I enjoyed this. I really liked reading most of the stories. There were three. I think three out of the 12 stories that I actually didn't finish. I skipped them because I wasn't enjoying them and they were kind of long and eh. And there was one that I did not like at all, but I finished it because it was really short. I'm not going to say which one it was though, because I don't want to be negative. <laughs> but we're going to talk about my favorite stories in here. So my favorite, my f very favorite was Veronica Roth's story, Inertia. That should get made into a movie. I mean, they're there is a there is a short story in here. The Map of Tiny Perfect Things is um, an Amazon Prime movie, which I watched after reading this, and it was very cute. And the story in it was also very cute. But Inertia was so good. Ugh, I loved it so much. I would watch the shit out of that movie. <laughs> so Inertia is about a technology that has been discovered and in use where people can go into the subconscious of... They're loved ones who are dying so that you can say goodbye. And ahead of time, like people have a list of, I think, three people that they want to say goodbye to if they're ever in this situation. And basically what you do is you go into the person's mind and you experience your memories together. Uh, and it can be like you can choose whose memories you're, you're reliving. So you can relive some memories of the person who you're, who's dying and the person who's saying goodbye, who's still alive, can also activate memories that they've both been a part of. And so this is about a girl whose best friend got in a car accident and she is one of the three people to go into his memories with him so that they can say goodbye to each other. And it's just them talking about their their friendship and their favorite memories that they've experienced together. And it was so good. It was so good. I loved it so much. And the other one that um, I also loved that I rated five stars, I always keep forgetting what it's called. Uh, Head Scales Tongue Tail, which is just about a girl and a guy who have a summer love. It's like in a cottage town and the guy's only there during the summer and they always pick up their romance where they left off the summer before. But there's also like the stuff that they're trying to figure out about a sea creature. It was really good. I gave most of the stories in here four stars. There were a few that I gave three, one that I gave two, and three that I skipped. Um, or maybe it was two. I can't remember. But overall, I really enjoyed the stories in this. The other book that I read was Renegades by Marissa Meyer. And I read this with my friend Amber. I don't know if she's finished it yet at this point, though. We were pretty much on the same track for reading it for quite a while till we were about maybe halfway through. And then I finished it really quickly and she was still having trouble finishing it because of life, not because she wasn't enjoying it. Um, I only tabbed two things, but I also listened to the second half of this on audio. I read the first half physically, and then I just was having so much trouble sitting down and reading, like I just did not want to. The only thing I wanted to do if I was sitting down was play Zelda. <laughs> I could not sit down and read. I just... It was play Zelda or do other things that didn't involve sitting down. So I got the audiobook. I used an Audible credit for it. And and I just listened to the rest of it while I was washing dishes, making supper, getting ready for work, cleaning my apartment, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I gave this four stars. I really enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, and this is about superheroes but it's a little different than a regular superhero story um there is some like classic superhero stuff that happens in it but basically what this is about is there this is in a world where there there are no police officers okay and there was a, a big chunk of time where the world was just in anarchy there was nobody to uphold any laws or anything and then a group of superheroes 
came about and called themselves the Renegades. And they basically became law enforcement. <laughs> and then there's also like the evil, the, the, the evil anti-hero people uh, that are called the anarchists. And over time, the Renegades have built their team and they are Renegades all over the world. And they're essentially law enforcement. But, but they're superheroes. They have superhero names, they all have superpowers, and they have cool costumes. <laughs> so this follows two people. It follows a girl who has been raised by the anarchists who wants to kill the leader of the renegades because she thinks he has something to do with the death of her parents. And it also follows a boy from the renegades whose um, dads are the leaders of the renegades. And the girl who was raised by the anarchists, becomes a spy for them by joining the renegades. And it's really good. And I really enjoyed reading from the girl's perspective. Her name is Nova. Um, I thought it was really interesting hearing her perspective, why she didn't like the renegades, why she wanted them dead, what happened in her story that made her side with the, the villains, essentially. So that was really interesting and i did really enjoy the other main character i forget his name now because i read this like a month ago now at this point what is his name adrian <laughs> i also enjoyed reading reading from adrian's perspective because there is some secret stuff going on with adrian as well that i really enjoyed and i just thought the story was really interesting it was also like, not a lot happened in the story. Like, it's a big book for the uh, little amount of things that happen. And it also takes place over, like, a fairly short period of time. And it just goes into a lot of detail throughout a lot of scenes, but not in a bad way. Like, I really enjoyed the way the action was written. I really enjoyed the way, like, it was all, like, I just I thought it was overall just a very well done book. I didn't love, like, I wasn't in love with it. That's why I didn't give it five stars, but I really liked it. I thought it was really good. Um, I also have a lot of trouble, I think, reading a lot of action scenes. It's hard for me to read an action scene and really enjoy the way it's written and to, like, really understand what's going on. And I really liked the way the action was written in this. It was still fast-paced while still taking up a lot of pages, which made it fun. <laughs> so anyway, Renegades was good. I liked it. And I'm going to read the next one soon, probably. That was rambly. This is going to be hard to edit. I haven't done this in a while. But that's all. I'll be back soon, probably, with my July wrap-up. Because <laughs> it's almost the end of July. I've been doing pretty good this month with my reading. And they've all been short books, but I just, uh, I'm doing better. I'm catching up on my reading goal. We will chat about that in the future. When I'm not on vacation anymore. That's very sad. Okay, bye.